Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I figured that we should stick with the theme of dating since I've been talking about that lately. So today's topic of discussion is how much time you should spend on your first couple of dates. All right, stay tuned. All right, family, so welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. First of all, let me just say, if this is your very first time to I Love Me Me Me, you make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below in order to hear more videos like this. As uh, And also, give me thumbs up if you are enjoying the videos that you are seeing. So let's go ahead and jump into today's topic of discussion, which is how much time you should spend on a date. Now, the simple answer that I will give you is no more than two to three hours. Now, here's the why. The why, of course, is longer than the answer itself. One of the reasons why you should not spend more than two or three hours on your first couple of dates is because you want to leave the person wanting more. Another thing is that you don't want to feel like you have to give away all of your information in one time frame. Basically, they don't need to know, nor do they want to know your entire story the very first time that you meet. So you're giving them just a little bit basically like a teaser so no more than two to three hours you want them to want more of you and they're not going to take in all of your story at one time another thing is the person is more than likely the man i'm speaking about they are more than likely more willing to make another date with you because because you just gave them a teaser of who you are and how you guys will interact with each other your chances increase exponentially as far as the next date because you already put this one thing and like oh my god this anticipation of how you guys are going to react and you also this is the, the fourth thing you also want the person's mind to start wondering let them create the fantasy you'll get more dates you will actually have more fun and you won't feel like you have to um, tell your entire story or which is the fifth thing run out of things to talk about you don't you won't feel like you have to feel the dead silence with meaningless BS all right the fifth thing is because it actually decreases your chances of sex being introduced because more than likely if this is your first couple of dates you are more than likely meeting out in a public uh, in a public place so sex has already decreased however the more and more that that you prolong the date you're feeling more comfortable with the person the chances of it being brought up where well, I'm kind of tired but I don't want to end the date let's go back to my place that is increased exponentially the more time the more hours that you are with the person because again your comfortability level is now increasing and I'm not saying that you shouldn't want to feel comfortable, but you shouldn't want to feel that comfortable enough to go back to a person's place on the very first date, specifically to the women. All right. The very last thing is that you want to give your chance. You want to give yourself a chance to reflect on how the date actually went. If there's something else that you need to ask, in order to get clarification about because now you had time to think about what the person said or the answer that they gave you to a specific question that you asked and so now this also leads you to be able to get clarification like i said the next time that you guys meet so implement these things don't spend any more than two to three hours on your first couple of dates you will notice that you will get more dates you will have more fun and you won't feel so pressured all right so don't forget to subscribe give me thumbs up and stay tuned for my online course it's almost finished and I'm so happy because it's taking a lot and and I cannot wait to release it to you guys I will see you guys soon deuces